Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess. Every day, don't you ever forget. Thank you everybody who came to the Divine Feminine New Moon Manifestation Meditation last night. You are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beings. It was so great to see your faces. All right, Spirit, what messages do we have for Pisces today? The magical witches that they are and wizards that they are. This is the Audacity deck. Thank you, DZ. Love these. What a smooth shuffle. Did everybody sleep great last night? <laughs> wow. One more. Whoa. Oh, my God. We've had this before. The life of the party and strength. I love this. Strength, that's that Leo energy, right? New moon in Leo. You taming the beast, being that earth angel, channeling your big pride energy, your big flashy energy, showing up and showing out energy, life of the party, right? Don't be afraid to be center of attention. Don't be afraid to live louder. Don't be afraid to speak more. Don't be afraid to wear that thing, change your hair, get your nails done, change the aesthetic, whatever it is. And look, that third eye is all the way activated with a crown on top. You're showing up as highly vibrational right now, Pisces. Whether you believe that you are attracting attention or not, kind of doesn't matter. Just the showing up that you are. You're attracting a lot of attention right now. Where other people might be fumbling and um, crawling through the muck of the planetary energies coursing around right now, all these retrogrades, you're showing up as like you know how to dance through it and other people are like, what the hell is Pisces on? And you're like, no drugs, just spirit for me, thanks. <laughs> I love this Pisces, big Leo energy, big Leo energy. All right, let's see what else spirits got for us. Thank you for being here. Whoa, say it, Pisces. I am the high priestess. I trust patterns over promises. I allow my inner knowing to guide me at all times, whether it is turning right on a walk, whether it's choosing fruit over chips. Oh, so hard. Whether it's saying goodbye to a partnership, to a friendship, to a family dynamic, or watching body language, word choice, behaviors over time i am the high priestess oh man pisces is so good yes you are say it louder they're saying okay remember we just said this third eye activation is up and on through this um new moon depending on what kind of work you've just done or on yourself what kind of beliefs you've just instilled on yourself and what kind of embodiment you are acting out every day they're saying your intuition is going to get stronger. Your third eye is going to get clearer. So you're going to start. Oh, Pisces, this is when it gets fun. You're going to start seeing things about people that other people cannot see, even if you explain it to them. Even if you have very clear, concise, bulleted points of evidence, people are not going to see what you see. Your gift is on. Trust it. Thank you. Okay, here we go. What else we got for the high priestesses? Four of Wands, Manifested Energy, Ten of Swords, Pain from the Past, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, two tens is a 20. Are you clearing out a major cycle? Okay, you're ascending vibrationally because you're clearing out a major cycle of learning, 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 learning. Wheel of Fortune in reverse is the learning process, right? See this for my students? See how the four fixed signs have their books open? Like the good little students that they are, right? Upright is like, boom, you pass the lessons. In reverse is like, okay, we're in learning mode. We're in the classroom right now. This is showing me that you are closing lessons on painful endings in relationships. Relationships being romantic, friendships, familial. People you've allowed into your life, people you've attracted into your life. You're closing out, no, 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 no. You are closing it out. But right now you're in a learning stage. This learning stage is Watching and trusting, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Watching and trusting. This is a new one. We are in the level up, level up, level up, level up. I love it. Oh my God, I love witchy, 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 witchy. 
watching and trusting, watching and trusting, watch them and trust your knowing. That's the wheel of fortune in reverse for you now. That will be clearing out something else within you. Um, okay, let me stop there. Let's go a little bit more on this side, right side, right side, right side. Additional insight for the, yes. Oh my God, confirming. That's you, Pisces. Your cup first. Hermit mode. Oh my God, watching, watching, watching. Okay, look at this. You're showing up as my cup first. My intuition, my emotions are my currency at this time. I'm focusing on my emotions and how I feel in my body yaddy. My clairsentience is going to tell me what I need to know about the behaviors and the people I am seeing around me. Yes, the hermit mode, silently watching, silently looking. If you think about the word introspection associated with the hermit, intro, inside, spection, watching, right? Spec, S-P-E-C, looking, seeing, vision. The hermit is looking at the emotions you are feeling inside your body. So you're embodying high priestess energy where you're observing other people, right? You're also embodying hermit energy, watching the insides. How are your emotions? How is your body responding to the people around you? Look, taking the lessons you've learned from the past, from your traumas, from, okay, codependent patterns, narcissistic patterns, people that use and abuse takers, energy vampires. And I'm using all those terms. I'm not saying those are bad people though. A lot of times those people don't know that they're siphoning energy, right? So let's not make this like a talk shit party, but just so that we all have the same verbiage, same language. You are watching people now come into your life and you're thinking, okay, I've seen these patterns before. Let me continue to watch to see if I'm right. And you're right every time. Now they want you to watch, predict, and look at what's happening inside your body. What's your body telling you? That is going to lead you to being very, very, very sure in your masculine energy of who's right for you, who's not right for you. What's happening here? What's not happening here? You're becoming a master at this, Pisces. This is the chapter. This is the part of the story where you become a master at being able to read people. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, bottom of the deck, we got two of pentacles going back and forth, riding the waves. So here's the thing. See that infinity symbol? That is a symbol connected to the divine that's associated with universe or third eye energy. Instead, you usually we have it here on the strength card, right? But instead, they gave her a third eye. It's the same thing, tomato mignon, right? Synonymous. This is you in your learning journey. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. In this chapter of learning, you're going to go back and forth. That's okay. That's normal. About, okay, who is a lesson from the past that I'm seeing again? Where have I seen this before? And who's not? And that makes it a little more fun when it's like, all right, they're not. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay, what do I want to do now? What do we want? Let's use these. these. Give me a little more insight on the Four of Wands, Ten of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Man, Pisces. This elevated gift that you are now activating, if you have done this level of work, is going to bring you Ten of Pentacles, Chariot Energy. That's success in the home, success in financial planning, success in career movement forward, success in finding a partnership, like family energy, somebody that wants to grow roots. And that's another 10, 10, 20, 30. Woo, three cycles closing, three years, 30 years, three major cycles. You are now integrating your light and your shadow so that you can move forward with like very fast judgment being made, very quick high priestess calling the shots here it's um also like you're so for those of you who have family um okay for those of you who have learned the most from your dysfunctional family i'm saying that with love me too i'm not singling you out 
those of you who are learning the most from that, you're going to be able to spot somebody who's also from that faster and easier so that you can recalibrate. And that's essentially what moves you out of the cycle of attracting that type of friend, that type of lover, that type of colleague <laughs> that like takes your energy, takes your ideas, vents to you all the time. For others of you, if you don't have, if you don't come from a hard, harder um, childhood, Four of Wands is also relationship energy. So if most of your wounding is coming from not familial dynamics, but relationship dynamics, they're saying that your wisdom is coming from all of that pain. So if your Ten of Swords, if your pain is from relationship wounding, it's the same message. They gave you those wounds, unfortunately, for you to turn into wisdom. You are in the wisdom chapter now. You all, you came out, you're coming out of the awareness. Awareness is step one, right? Embodiment is the next though. You're in this embodiment stage where you're like, I got all the info. Now I'm going to watch and apply like, oh yeah, that one's that, that one's that. Got it. Got it. My stomach has flutters with this person. Got it. I feel anxious on this call with this person. Got it. I'm on a date and I can't pinpoint why I don't feel right with this person, but the X, Y, Z isn't sitting right. Got it. I'm listening now. And I'm saying no now. I'm becoming the master at this now. Does this make sense? Ooh, boy, boy, boy. And you will be victorious. Hi, 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 priestess, victorious. All right, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Any additional insight? Oh my God, it, it really, guys, it really is. It really is going to lead you to the right people. This is really going to lead you to the right people now. This is really going to lead you to the right people now. This is nice. This feels nice. Two of Cups, soulmate energy. If you're looking for love, that's on the precipice. You're going to be able to spot them. You're going to be able to feel them in your body when it's right. You're not going to have... Here's a thing, too. We're, we probably won't have to watch tarot readings for love if we're with the right person, right? Like, maybe here and there as, like, tune-ups, check-ups, like going to the doctor. But we're not going to be tuned in, tapped in every day for love insights if we're with the right people, right? Same thing with friends, same thing with family dynamics. Some of you might be healing family dynamics. That doesn't mean accepting poor behavior. That means accepting people for who they are and redefining what the relationship looks like for you so that you are in a place of safety and rainbows, right? Whatever that means for you, Pisces. Okay. Hangman, hello, first deck in Pisces. You have finally surrendered to this process instead of fighting it. Fighting it could look like, I'm going to give you an example of how I used to fight this. <laughs> I would cry out loud to the universe, why does it have to be so hard for me? What's wrong with me? Why, why is it easier for everyone else? Why am I broken? Um, and the whole time it was like, you're not broken, you're just not looking using the gift we gave you. We gave you sight. You're choosing to ignore it, Jessica Marie, right? So Pisces, I'm not saying you do that. That's just like one example. Now you're stepping into, all right, I surrender to this. I will use my gift of sight. See that all the way lit up? I will use my gift of sight to make decisions around people, places, energy that welcomes me and doesn't. And that is how I will move forward. Yes, that's shadow work. That's you coming out of the shadow work. Whether you're feminine or masculine, doesn't matter. All right, give me some insight on this. Oh my goodness. That's two cups. Your heart chakra is also going to be a source of intuition for you, Pisces. I think this was blocked before. So your solar plexus and your heart chakra, as well as your third eye, of course, they're going to be really turned up and on when it feels good. When someone feels good, you're going to feel it in your chest. And if something feels off, you're going to feel it in your gut. Does that make sense? That has to make sense. That is like the, that is the only thing coming here. It's heart chakra. Your heart chakra got cleared. Whatever you did, give me a little more with the hermit. We got Virgo energy out here, Pisces energy. Yeah, that's what wasn't on before. 
that's what wasn't on before. Seven, eight, nine cups. That brings you to wish fulfillment. Where you used to be, I've said this before, confusion is your intuition. It's telling you, this is murky, get out. Get out till it's clear. Confusion is your intuition. It's saying, get out till it's clear. Take a step back till it's clear. Before, you used to, when it was confusing, instead of backing out and trusting confusion as intuition, you'd be like, I have to get to the bottom of this. Let me uncover what's underneath all these cups. And they're, be they're like, no, you don't need to do that. Look what's under these cups. Snakes and bats and what, like, you don't need to. You're allowed to just back up when it's confusing. Anything else on this hermit before we move to King of Wands? Anything else on this hermit? A lot more silence, saying less, Pisces. Really, saying less, watching more. Saying less, watching more. Okay? And they're confirming again, that's what's going to lead you to success. And people are going to be applauding you on a pedestal, baby. You are serving as an example for others who are watching you. I don't know who's watching you, but if you're, you know, if you're on a platform, then literally people are watching you. But if you're not on a platform, other people are going to clock you. Like, how is Pisces reading people like this? How is Pisces making moves like this? It's so different than before because you closed out a cycle all right give me some on this king of wands eight of pentacles yep look literally you learned from the pain of the past and you're moving into three of pentacles building better energy within yourself you learned the hard lesson you learned the hard lesson you learned the hard lesson bottom of the deck death Death and rebirth, and this is about perspective. Woo! Seeing, it's seeing, it's seeing. Perspective, introspective, high priestess, watching. You, 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 watching. Your perspective has changed. Your seeing ability is on big Scorpio energy. This, for some people, has taken a full year. For other people, this has taken close to a decade. That's okay, too. No, no shade. There's, like, no one's better than anybody else. It's... It's all different shit. But some of you, it's literally been like in one year, in just one year, how you see people has completely shifted and changed. And you're like, oh my God. And when I talk about this, muggles don't know what the hell I'm talking about. That's okay. They don't need to. It's for you. It's not for them. It's for you. It's not for them. And this six of wands is giving me this life of the party energy. You're going to be able to like move through a lot more stuff without like... The heavy baggage of emotion <clears throat> that used to like drag you down or it drags other people down, you're going to be moving a lot more fluidly now where you're like, I just accept things. I'm accepting the, the light and the dark for what it is, for who they are, for what this is. I'm not getting down and out about how I think it should be. I'm accepting it for what it is. And that is the game changer. Okay. Potential outcomes for Pisces. This is so stunning. Give yourself a pat on the back, Pisces. And if you're not here yet, this is the incentive, right? Six of, again, there, this is the gift. This is the gift. You are given a gift. This is the gift. This is the gift. This is the time. It's now. It's now. If you've been doing the work, it's now. If you understand the words that I'm saying, the concepts I'm sharing with you, you are here. You are ready. It's happening. Okay. Potential outcomes for Pisces in this new gift, this new seeing, this new way. Success. Look at this baddie energy. Success in following your intuition. You have the chariot twice now. Following your intuition, allowing your light and shadow to guide you. And what this is also accepting your own light and shadow. Accepting it instead of being mean to yourself about it, Pisces. Accepting that you're always going to feel harder and deeper than everyone else. And that doesn't make you better or less than anyone else. Capiche? Big Cancerian energy here. That's success though. Eight of Swords. This is what you had to overcome. You had to cruise through this. You're moving into a period of being the seer after you, you blocked you. You did not let yourself believe what you were seeing. 
maybe because your parents or family members or past partners gaslit you into doubting your gift. That's super common. Not okay, but it's super common. But you did not let you believe, baby. Believe it now. Tower, five of cups, ace of swords. Yep, this is the clarity. This is the breakthrough. This is you saying goodbye to the old, stepping into the new, and you're like, I'm, <laughs> I'm down for the death tower. How many times we're gonna get death and tower? I'm down for the death tower. Bring it all down. I can see now. I understand why towers happen. I don't resist them now. I understand it is for my highest calling, my highest good. I don't cry about them now. Eight of Pentacles again, Seven of Wands. Because you're the master of the craft, right? Remember that movie, The Craft, Nev Campbell? Oh my God, I was obsessed with that movie. Oh my God, light as a feather, stiff as a board. We used to play The Craft when we were when I was in middle school. Anyway, sorry. This gives me craft energy. Okay. Because you are a master of the craft now, it's going to be much easier to spot and block the energy that's not aligned with you. You've ascended, babe. You're a level up now, babe. So when the past comes back and knocks on the door, let me tell you, they're coming back. If they, Pisces, if you haven't started hearing from the past in the last two weeks, I'm telling you they're coming. And they're going to come with lipstick on and they're going to come with donuts and they're going to come maybe with a little gift. But the past is a past is a past for a reason. Trust your seeing. Trust it. Trust what you feel. Trust what you see. You might see everybody from the past differently now, a little clearer now. And if they're, if you're entering a period of success or growth or you went through a major bodily transformation, whatever this like glow up is, if people are coming back around during this glow up, that's fine. Take those compliments. Take that praise. Let yourself feel the joy. Don't give anything though. Do you hear me? I mean, you're an adult. Do whatever you got to do. But you don't need to be giving anybody anything. They are coming back to touch your light. They want to be part of it. Of course they do, right? Spirit wants you to have boundaries high and you're seeing eye on. Not your empathy lens. That's a beautiful lens, Pisces. Save that for elsewhere. Save that for people who have already passed the high priestess test and make you feel good, right? Don't. Don't see through the empathy lens right now. Right now, they just want you to pass these lessons of, are you reading the room correctly now? Because you've always been able to, but have you? It's like maybe you weren't acting on it. They want you to act on it now. Does that make sense? That has to. Has to make sense because that is exactly it. Bottom of the deck, what do we got? Nine of Wands. Look, <laughs> you've been knocked down, but you were knocked out, babe. You had a little blockage on that third eye, but you, you kept getting up. Getting up, getting up, persevering, getting up. Yes? Okay. Let's get some more juice. Um, what else does Pisces need to know about the past coming back? Who are they? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in reverse. Uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that has... And is generous. This is somebody that has and does not give, or they they do not allow themselves to give, or they are overly practical or overly focused on money. Masculine energy doesn't have to be a man though. King of Rods, Aries, Sag, Leo. You already know who this guy is, right? Ambitious, driven, business owner, CEO, entrepreneurial. As for forgiveness, not for permission. I'm telling you, the past is coming back because I just said. Ask for forgiveness, not for permission. I wouldn't be surprised if you get an apology soon, Pisces. And you're allowed to accept it. Accepting an apology does not mean you are accepting or condoning behavior. And it doesn't mean you're welcoming people back. Use your discernment to determine who is allowed back in. But the past is showing up as masculine energy. So you do what you got to do with that. I don't, I don't love the energies that showed up either. Strength again. That's confirming. They want you to trust your gut, your solar plexus. This is solar plexus energy. They want you to trust that when the past comes back. Listen, Pisces, especially if these freaking people, you know, 
they, ugh, hold on, let me get my ego out of the way, hold on, I need a minute, <laughs> okay, Pisces, you're a giver, right, if people from the past who have benefited from your giving are coming back, it would behoove you to believe they're coming back because they want something, whether they are conscious of it or not. And that's what spirit wants to see if you will see. Kapish, Kapash. Okay, additional insights on the past for Pisces coming back. Yeah. <laughs> it's those relationships. It's also family. It's also family. It's relationships and family. Anything else Pisces needs to know? Anything else Pisces needs to know? Look at the body language, ready? Turning their back on the emperor. Some of you, it's um, fathers. Some of you, it's fathers of your children. Others of you, it's big Aries energy. There's a lot of fire out here. Aries, Sag, Leo, big, big, big. No matter who this is to you, this emperor energy, three of wands is turning your back. So it's people that you've turned your back on, you've already set boundaries with, <laughs> circling back around. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's, it's happening. It is already happening over here. I'm telling you, if it hasn't started, it's coming for you. Big, big fire energy. It's people you've turned your back on, and it's going to be up to you whether you turn your back on them again or not. And look at that. Four of wands plus three of wands is what? Seven of wands. Mmm, Pisces. Stay guarded up in these streets. Bottom of the deck, ten of pentacles. You have major, like, commitment, partnership, success, generational wealth abundance security it's uh this is your destiny this is just like a little <laughs> little test period sometimes it's like not even a long period when this happens in my experience anyway it's like the past will come back to see all right pisces has done all this work right they say they're ready for this next manifestation right Okay, they've leveled up. Let's see. Let's give them one last application of people from the past coming back around to see how committed they are to this. Because we know that this is what you want, right? This is what we want. Sometimes we have one last circle back, one last. It's like in scary movies, right? When it's like the, the killer comes back for like one last showdown. And it's like you just got to defeat that beast. You just got to defeat that dragon, right? And you got it, Pisces. You can do this. Okay. This feels very, 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 very on point. Can I get some additional insights? Thank you for Pisces. Star bathing, again, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. This is your light, Pisces. Your light is turned up and on. Trust it. And and trusting it sometimes means looking like a bitch or, or an asshole. It just is what it is. And you got to be like, that's cool because I'm protecting me. Ooh! perspective none of this matters zoom out common ground perspective seeing introspection <sighs> this takes like the wind out of the sail of anxiety and worry zooming out and remembering like all right this is just like one these are just like little specks of dust in this vast universe that we are living in right your perspective is what changed let it be changed don't circ you don't have to go back to old ways of accommodating and coddling to make people feel comfortable around you. Pisces, how freaking, thank you, spirit, how freaking dead on are these cards? Karmic relationships, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. This is confirming. This is what's happening. The past is coming back for the lesson. Implement, implement. You got this. You don't have to be worried. You don't have to be scared. You are prepared. You are ready. Okay, advice for Pisces after this beautiful new moon in Leo where she is and he is and they is all the way activated with their big Leo energy. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries, all this fire. Take action on those manifestations. Uh, embody the energy of somebody that's already got it. And blue moon, at the end of the month, we have the full moon, blue moon ceremony. It's a full moon in Pisces, a super moon in Pisces. 
The link is at the link below if you want to register for that early. We have been selling out these events, so if you have the ability to register now, I do recommend that. Okay. Blue Moon, believe in the impossible. This is believing in your gift and believing that you're able to implement and embody your gift, Pisces. You're allowed to release the old now. This will be like the final curtain call, the final countdown, the final showdown of past energy, especially if they were users, abusers, manipulators, narcissists, and people unaware of their own bullshit. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a lot of what's coming back right now is people who are unaware of their own lack of um, healing, growth, accountability. Accountability. Take that one. That's it. People that are not accountable, they're the ones coming back. And that's when you're going to be like, oh, yeah, she said this would happen. <laughs> Pisces, can you hit that like button if this resonates, if you know what I'm talking about, if it's making any kind of sense. I love you so much. Look at that third eye. Focus, Pisces. You're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and toward what is working. Paying extra attention to where you place your focus is the first step toward creating an amazing life. Where your focus goes, Pisces, energy flows. So if we're talking about perspective and looking and seeing and high priestess energy, right? Can you um, give yourself examples of when your high priestess intuition was right? Can you make a list of all the times it was right? So that you have an actual tangible list in your 3D of like, oh yeah, I knew all these things. I just didn't act on them, right? So that when these people come back around, you can look back at that mirror and be like, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm seeing. And ask for help. You're being asked to request help from another. You don't need to deal with this issue alone. There are many people who want to help you, but it's up to you to bravely ask for their support. It's a sign of strength to reach out. Do that today. Pisces, something I've had to do too, in developing this gift has been like um i used to outsource so when you are making an intuitive decision about somebody where you're like i'm i'm positive this is gaslighting this is narcissistic abuse this is manipulation this is a pattern i've seen before if you start to feel yourself get lost in the seven of cups energy that confusion Ask your therapist or a mentor or somebody who's also on a spiritual journey like this, somebody who's also intuitive that you trust. You can ask them for support. Share the situation and what you're going through. Um, I don't I don't want us to make a habit out of that. I do want us to trust ourselves above all. But sometimes, just like we teach kids to ride a bike, you got to have training wheels sometimes, right? Especially if this is your first rodeo. Put the training wheels on. It's no big. All right. Can I get one more for Pisces? One more time. Yeah, baby. Break free. You're being asked to break free from the tribe. This is this past life, past people, past groups in order to live your authentic life. This isn't easy, but it's very necessary if you're going to share your true self with others. Be brave. Be real. Be you and trust that those who have, nope, <laughs> and trust that those who love you will always be there for you. Ain't that the truth, Pisces? All right, Pisces, this feels it. Be on the lookout today, tomorrow, maybe even Saturday for this like trickle of people coming back around. Trust you. Trust you. Trust what you're seeing. Trust what you're feeling. Capiche? Okay. I just want to give a little treat. We'll take one dream oracle. Can I get one? Thank you. Look at this card. The gift. Are you kidding? And look what she's doing. She's looking down at her. What is that? Ugh, who cares? <laughs> this is your gift, Pisces. You've always had this gift. It's turned up and on now. Don't be afraid to use it. Pisces, hold my hands. Sending you so much Reiki love. Take a big deep breath in. And release. And affirm. I am the high priestess. Yes, you are, Pisces. 
Love you. See you manana.